Bill, uh, you've got folks that you've seen that have dared to trust Jesus, that he means what he says, that if we go, he will use us, he will go with us, mm -hmm. and something will happen. Talk about that. Well, this, these two guys, Frank and Richard, came to see me, and they were both in their early 70s. And they said, we want to change our church. We read this book of yours, and they held it up, and they had it marked. We're ready to go. And then one of them, Dick, he says, the problem is I can't remember a lot because I have the early onset of Alzheimer's. <laughs> but the other guy, Frank, had a clipboard, and he was writing everything down. And they belong to a significantly large church in Southern California. And they said, we want to change it. We want to do this. And I'm thinking, uh, I probably, they, they, I don't know if they can do this or not. And so we're having lunch, and, and God started talking to me. And this doesn't happen very often, especially while I'm eating. But what happened was, he says, you do it. And I said, what? Come, you do it. So I just blurted out to these men, I'll do it. And so I, I said, but I'll only do it if you guys will memorize scripture. And they looked at me, you gotta be kidding. But I said, no, that's the rule. So I started meeting with them. And the second week, we started the scripture memory, Romans 12, one and two. And we went around the table, I quoted it first, and then several of the people tried. And the guy with early onset, he stood up and he tried to give it, and I wouldn't bail him out. He was stumbling, he wasn't getting, he was getting everything mixed up, and everybody felt quite nervous. But after, uh, and I just said, well, you'll do better next time. And then we had other guys, and these guys were some of them CEOs, men who had been really successful in life, the next week, they came back and they got it. And when Dick, who was the man with the memory issues, was able to get close, everybody stood and applauded. Mm. And the tears were streaming down their faces. And this was just scripture memory. Mm. Uh, it went on from there to encourage your wife. And uh, we said, let's encourage somebody next week. And two guys came back and said, I couldn't do it. I tried, but I just couldn't do it. Hmm. And so well, we'll pray for you. And the next week they both came back and they had done it. And again, it was a celebration. And I told these men, I said, you guys are kind of, we're all kind of old and washed up. And here's the deal. John Wesley said, give me 50 men who fear nothing but God, hate nothing but sin, and refuse to know anything other than Jesus Christ crucified, and I will turn the world upside down. And these seven or eight men I worked with, now they have over 100 men. Hmm. And they just continued on what I did with them for a year. And they're faithful, and it's remarkable what God did through these men. 